Hello. Hello everybody and welcome. Welcome to Plan B Live Learning Session 19. If you're here for the first time, thank you for joining us. You're very welcome and I'm really looking forward to today's session with you all. Welcome back, those of you who are, who are here again. Today's session is a special one because tomorrow is a special day. Tomorrow is VE Day and it's the 75th anniversary of VE Day. So today's live learning session, which is for slightly older primary learners, uh, we've aimed this at sort of nine to 11 year olds, but younger and older are equally welcome and we'll get a lot out of this too. Um, this is all about the 75th anniversary of the VE Day celebrations. And so we're gonna learn about them today. We'll be starting in a few minutes time just to allow one or two people to arrive. And while we're doing that, I want to play a little clip of some 75 year old film footage of the VE Day celebrations happening almost 75 years ago to the day. These are on the BFI website and they're free to um, view. There's loads and loads of fascinating historic footage on the BFI site including lots of regional footage. So you might find some historic footage from the war or around the time of VA, VE Day that's in your local area where you live in Britain. But let me just play this now while we're arriving. It's silent footage. So uh, that's gonna be playing in the background so that you can just uh, experience a bit of what was happening on VE Day back in 1945. And while that's playing, I'm just gonna go through a couple of bits of housekeeping um, to make sure that everybody is ready uh, to get the most out of today's live session. So uh, as always, there is a link in the description below this video, the first link, and that is to download some resources, some worksheets that you can use during today's session and afterwards. Now, uh, as always, it's not necessary to use those worksheets if you're unable to download them. And certainly, it's not necessary to print them, okay? If you are able to, they're very nice to use, but um, if you're unable to print at home, like I am, then plain paper, lined paper would be good today, actually, if you've got lined paper, or a notebook. I like to work in a notebook um, and if you have a notebook, then today's task is particularly well suited to working in one of those. There is also a link below to the home learning enrolment form that we've set up. And that is a great way to make sure that you hear about upcoming live learning sessions like this one here on YouTube uh, that we've got happening over the next coming weeks. And we also send out a whole load of hand-picked um, especially created home learning resources um, and they're free to download once you've enrolled via our form. So there's a load of really valuable information that you'll get when you sign up via that enrolment link in the description below. Thirdly, there is an email address in that description and that is homelearning at planb.com. Homelearning at planb.com. And we always invite you to send in photos of children, your children working during these sessions, or photos actually of their work. And one of my favourite bits of these sessions is when we are able to share children's work and photos of them working that have been sent in and we look at them live on stream and we talk about it and we say what we like about all the work and it's a really fantastic um, experience that I love and I know that children who've taken part in previous sessions love too. So please do send in those photos. Of course, bear in mind uh, your children's privacy. So do try to keep them reasonably anonymous um, by not including surnames on worksheets, that kind of thing. But photos of children and their faces is absolutely fine. Just just so long as you are happy to share them with us and for us to show them. Lastly, joining me on the chat this morning is my teacher colleague, Abby. Abby has taken one or two of these live sessions before, so uh, welcome back, Abby. Thank you so much for helping me. Abby is here to help um, you on the live chat today with any questions you have to do with what we're doing um, or with home learning in general. So any questions that I can't get to, Abby is there to help too. So, we've been looking at some fantastic 
historic film footage of VE Day celebrations. But let's get started uh, now that we've allowed a few minutes for everyone to arrive and we're going to get going with our main session. So I'll pause this now and we'll continue looking at it possibly a little bit later. Okay. Here's what's happening today. We're about to start at 11.05 and we're going to learn all about VE Day and the VE Day celebrations. Then we're going to do a little bit of shared planning for a task today and I'm going to need your help everybody coming up with some fantastic VE Day words to help us. Then there's a chance for you to go and do some work independently or perhaps with a partner if you're working with an adult or a brother or sister at home. And then at 11.40ish, I'm hoping that we'll have one or two emails sent in of uh, children working and of their work that we can share and look at together. And then we'll finish at 11.50ish today. Um, there's quite a lot of information, so it's a few minutes longer than some of our previous sessions, but hopefully that's okay and you'll stick with me. Let's get started. Here we go. VE Day, the 75th anniversary. I'm going to read these slides. Uh, you're welcome to read along as well, but what's most important is that you are listening and looking. Here we go. Do you know what happened almost 75 years ago on the 8th of May 1945? Well, we've said VE Day was happening, haven't we? But what was VE Day? What else had happened at around that time? What's important historically that occurred in 1945? You're thinking? Maybe you've told a partner already? Or maybe you've decided to write what you think in the chat and you're welcome to do that at any time when I ask you a question during these sessions. World War II had ended. Yeah, that's right, Nathaniel. Yes, good. The Second World War took place between 1939 and 1945. So yes, it ended then, didn't it? Uh, on the 8th of May 1945, Nazi Germany formally surrendered and the war in Europe was officially over. The day became known as VE Day, Victory in Europe. And the photo there, that's from the terms of surrender being signed in Berlin, Germany, 1945. And this date marked the end of almost six years of war in Europe. During that time, countless people had been killed and large parts of many towns and cities were destroyed. And this is a photo of Winston Churchill here. He was Britain's Prime Minister at the time, wasn't he? And this is him preparing to deliver a nationwide broadcast to tell everyone that the war in Europe was over. What do you think? Hmm. What do you think that Winston Churchill might have been feeling at that moment when he was preparing to deliver this momentous broadcast to the nation? Let's look at that picture again. What do you think he might have been feeling just before he started the broadcast? You think he would be happy? Yes. Yes. Lots of people he was going to share the news with were about to be happy too, I should think. Nervous? I'd be nervous. Yeah. Let's go on. After the broadcast, Churchill waved to the crowds that had gathered to celebrate the news in Whitehall, London. He made two brief speeches. And here's one of them. I'll read it to you now. God bless you all. This is your victory. It is the victory of the cause of freedom in every land. In all our long history, we have never seen a greater day than this. Everyone, man or woman, has done their best. Everyone has tried. Neither the long years, nor the dangers, nor the fierce attacks of the enemy have in any way weakened the unbending resolve of the British nation. God bless you all. Wow, can you imagine that you were one of the people in the crowd? How would you have felt on hearing your Prime Minister's speech? How would you have felt? They're powerful words, aren't they? 
Upon the defeat of Germany, more than one million people celebrated in the streets throughout Great Britain. In London, crowds massed in Trafalgar Square and up the Mall to Buckingham Palace, where King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, accompanied by Prime Minister Winston Churchill, appeared on the balcony of the palace before the cheering crowds. Princess Elizabeth, the future Queen Elizabeth II, and her sister, Princess Margaret, were also present and were later allowed to wander among the crowds and take part in the celebration. And that must have been an unusual occasion for the princesses as well. How do you think they must have felt being able to wander among the crowds and take part in the celebrations? Oh, and can you spot which person is our current Queen, Elizabeth II, here in this photo? There she is. That's Princess Elizabeth, now Queen Elizabeth, right there. I bet they were excited, weren't they? Here are some photos of the huge crowds that gathered in Whitehall, London on V-Day 1945. Look carefully. Let's look together now. Choose someone from the crowd. What might they be thinking or saying? Can you pick somebody out in this enormous crowd of people? What do you think they're saying, that person you've picked? If you're working with somebody, tell your partner now. Or you can tell me in the chat. So many of you in the chat today, welcome. So many people wanted to celebrate. Yes, good point. Yeah. Let's continue. Look at these photos. These are amazing photos. I love these. People celebrated the whole day long. They sang and danced in the streets. Aren't these photos amazing? Look at how the expressions on people's faces. How are they feeling? It does look crowded, doesn't it? Yeah, they were happy that the war was over. Yeah. And they threw street parties. Everyone worked together to provide food and drink. And that was something very special actually, providing food and drink, working together like that, because something had been happening during the war that would have made that very difficult. I wonder if anybody knows what would have made it very difficult to throw these street parties. Hmm, you could tell me in the chat or a partner if you know. I wonder how it felt as well to take part. Yep, jolly, happy. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, great. Someone suggested immediately what would have made this difficult. Rationing. That's right. Yeah. Uh, the Germans bombed the food ships, yeah. Merchant ships were attacked during the war as well. So food was scarcer and it was rationed, which meant that people only had a little of the foods that they needed. So they didn't have a lot spare to go around. Mm. And lots of things were destroyed, weren't they, during the war? Yeah. Let's continue. Celebrations went into the night with victory bonfires. And look at this, the people celebrating long into the evening with Union flags all around there. What part of the celebrations do you think you would have enjoyed most, having seen that video at the start and looked at those amazing photos? What would you have enjoyed most, do you think, if you'd been there in 1945? Mm. The dancing, yeah. Looks like fun, doesn't it? So, we are going to get into our main task today, everybody. And I hope you're ready to do some fantastic history writing together and to help me do it. Today, we're going to imagine that you experienced VE Day 1945. You're going to write a diary entry about your experiences. Hmm. What kinds of things might you include in your diary entry? Are you thinking now about what you might include after that momentous day? Six long years of war in Europe coming to an end. Big street parties, the Prime Minister giving a speech, the Royal Family coming out to the balcony to wave at the crowds below. Street parties. 
so many things that we could include in a diary. Well, let's have a look at this. These are some features of a diary entry. I'm going to pop off screen for a minute so that you can see them all. A diary entry is written in the first person, isn't it? So you're writing about yourself. I. It's informal. That means we can be conversational, relaxed, funny in our tone. It's written in the past tense. We're writing about things that have already happened and looking back and reflecting on them. There's a greeting and a sign off very often, a bit like writing a letter. Now, I'm just going to come back for a minute because I, one of the things that I will say to you all today is that if you are writing this at school, and some of you will be very familiar with this, you might be expected by a teacher to include all of these things in your diary entry, and that's so that they can show and they can see that you understand and know how to do all of those things. Well, we're not in school. So you don't have to include all of these things in your diary entry if you're writing one today. You just have to write a brilliant, entertaining, interesting diary entry. All right. Whether it's got all of these things or not doesn't matter today, but these are some ideas to help you. Chronological. That means that they're written in time order the order in which things happen. So we might be thinking back and imagining that day gone by, the VED day celebrations, and we'd write them in order, the first thing, then the next thing, then the, ne then the next thing. And that's usually the way a diary entry is written. Idioms, that's sayings, uh, funny sayings. Uh, and there were a lot of funny sayings in the war. Uh, I'd be interested to know if any of you can think of any funny sayings or phrases, idioms. Written in paragraphs, that's right, so we'd, we'd write in paragraphs, leaving little line breaks, and it would have your opinions because it's your diary entry from your point of view. What did you think? What did you feel? What did you see? Are you ready to go and write a V-Day diary entry? I know I am. I'm looking forward to it. So, Hopefully your head is buzzing with ideas now for what you could write in a VE Day diary entry if you were to imagine that you went back in time or you were part of those VE Day celebrations on uh, the 8th of May 1945. Let me show you, parents and children, the worksheets that can be downloaded via the link in the uh, description below today's video. Here they are, they're diary templates. And there's several of them. Here they are, look, there's a greeting here at the start of this one, and there's lines, and there's spaces to draw your own pictures. And they look a bit like photos that have been stuck in a diary, which some people do very often, don't they? And there's all kinds of different layouts here to choose from. You might, if you are able to, print one of these out to write your own diary entry on. Look, there's one with outlines here. My own diary doesn't have lines. I prefer to write, when it's for me, on plain paper. You might like to as well. That's the nice thing about it, isn't it, when we're writing outside of school sometimes. And there's different layouts here, including a completely blank one. You might like to use these. Oh, I love your idiom there. Spend a penny, go to the toilet. Yeah, that's a funny one. Um, so, you don't have to use these. I'm going to do mine in my own journal here today. And you can do yours on plain paper or in a journal too. So, everybody taking part today, children, I'd like to invite you right now, if you're full of ideas and ready to go, to start writing a diary entry as if you were there at a VE Day celebration, maybe in Whitehall, London, maybe at a street party. OK, and you're writing your diary entry the day after, looking back and describing everything that you experienced. So if you're teeming with ideas, then you can get started straight away. If you're wanting a bit more help and ideas, then you can continue to listen in and look at what we're going to do together. Um, it's up to you, but we're going to allow some time for you to work on your own or carry on listening to me. And then we'll come back at the end and hopefully have a look at some work. So, if you're ready to work on your own or with a partner, off you go, get started. And those of you still with me, 
parents too. Now we're going to just do a little bit of shared planning for those that will benefit from it. And we're going to come up with some words together to help us with our writing. Here it is, our VE Day diary entry notes. And I want your help now in the live chat if you're able to. I would like some help with writing some words that we can use to describe people and places during the VE Day celebrations, events that happened, things, maybe things that we could see, uh, touch, eat, taste, maybe smells as well, and feelings, how people might be feeling. So first of all, some people and places. I'm gonna start here, but if you can tell me any important people and places that might help you writing a diary entry, then please do include them in the chat there now. Oh, there's some good stuff. There we go, so family, I like that. Yeah, straight away. Family, I'm gonna put the prime minister and the royal family, but I bet there are other people as well that you could think of. And then places as well, let's do some places. So a street and a town hall. The streets of London. What brilliant suggestions. I can't believe how many good suggestions we've got flying in. Thank you for your help. What you share with me now is going to help others as well. So well done, that's really great. The Queen. Yeah, and of course, the King, who was the reigning monarch at the time, wasn't it? George VI. And what about some events? Can you share with me now some events that might have happened during the day or just beforehand? Maybe you can tell me now some events. Hmm. Oh, there was a speech, wasn't there? A speech by the Prime Minister. And there were parties, yeah, parties, great. And what else did we have? Uh, dancing. Oh, somebody's mentioned Dunkirk, of course, yeah. So there would have been soldiers trying to work their way back to Dunkirk and other places um, as they eventually returned home after the war. But of course, many soldiers out in Europe weren't home yet at the time of the VE Day celebrations. So some soldiers would have been away. That's an interesting point. We'll come back to that when we talk about feelings in a moment. So there was dancing, great suggestions, bonfires, feasting, I like it. Yeah, feasts and feasting. Yeah, that's a great word, feasting. There might have been some fireworks, yeah. I think it's unlikely there would have been fireworks uh, because Fireworks use explosives in them, don't they? So why do you think it's unlikely fireworks would have been set off at the end of the war? Singing, lovely. Things, let's just go on to this now, things, and then we'll talk about feelings lastly, things. What sort of things do you think, if you were there at the celebrations, you might see, touch, taste, smell, hear? Let's have some other ideas here. So singing could go in there, couldn't they? Couldn't it as well? Yeah. Food. Yes. Yeah, they might not want to be reminded of gunshots. Yeah, that's an interesting thing. Cake. Yes, I bet people baked cakes, didn't they? Bunting. Brilliant. Oh, we'll talk about bunting in a minute. Bunting. Lovely. Yeah. Shouting for joy. What a lovely phrase. I love it. And laughter. Laughter as well. Maybe some smoke, yes. Cheering. These are such good suggestions, everybody. Well done, that's fantastic. Now feelings. This is an interesting one, isn't it? Because there would have been lots of positive feelings, but perhaps not all positive feelings. We talked a moment ago, didn't we, about soldiers still being posted in Europe and people still fighting around the world. Maybe that would have meant that there were mixed feelings during VE Day. You could share with me now what you think some of those feelings might be and the reasons why. Relieved, a brilliant word that lots of you might like to use. Relieved, oh, thank goodness the war has come to an end. Angry, I'm sure people were still angry, weren't they? Angry at all of the loss of life and suffering that's happened during the war. And they might be sad, mightn't they? Because they might be missing Loved ones still at war. Bittersweet, what a brilliant word, bittersweet. Happy that the war has ended, but at the same time feeling bitter 
because of what's happened. Devastated, yeah. Amazed. I bet people were amazed after six long years to have a great big party like that. That's so good. Well done. I'm going to leave these keywords up on screen for another minute or two, parents and children, so that you can use them in your writing if you'd like to. Uh, and then what I will do again is after a couple of minutes, I will show some more of that BFI see them shared, email in some photos of your children working and of their actual work. It would be brilliant if we could read some diary entries before or at the end of today's session. So we will look at those in maybe 10 minutes or so. While we're allowing some time for you to do your fantastic VE Day diary entries, let's just take a moment to answer any questions, parents. If you have anything that you'd like to ask about today's session or home learning in general, please share them in the chat. And I'm just going to share a couple of other things with you that might help you with VE Day celebrations if you're planning to do something while we are keeping a safe distance and we're at home. I want to show you this on our website, planb.com. We've got a free resource here, which we've put together especially for VE Day. It's a set of VE Day freebies. And if you go to planb.com, then you can find these. You can create a free account in moments if you haven't already, and you can download them. And if you were lucky enough to print, then you can do that too. And we've got loads of fun activities and things you can use for your own VE Day celebrations safely at home. So we've got word searches, bunting. This bunting is extremely popular. It's great because you can print it out and decorate it yourself to celebrate 75 years. There are the diary entry sheets in there as well, which we're using today. There's code breakers, uh, what else do we have? Oh, there's the answers there. Um, oh, and a carrot cake recipe. Yeah, carrot cake. Carrot cake was um, something uh, that uh, became quite popular during the war because it was uh, an ingredient that was plentiful even during rationing that could be used to make cake. And I love carrot cake. Do you like carrot cake? So loads of stuff here. And fresh lemonade, which is something that people may have made to celebrate uh, at their own street parties. So that's there on our website. Um, and one more thing I'll just remind you of, which is our blog. And um, we have got a load, uh, and you can see here, I'm just gonna click Home Education. We've got a load of articles and advice to help you with learning at home, including some resources uh, and some practical tips here for parents. So do check it out if you're, if you're lo looking for some inspiration and some advice with learning at home as we continue with that while schools are still closed for many people. So that's that. Let me just pop these back in the background for a moment so that we can continue to be inspired by this footage. Look at this. People marching in the streets, big parade. Isn't it incredible, this colour footage from so long ago? And this, to me, looks like it might be the Mall leading up to Buckingham Palace, actually, in London. People lining the streets, paying their respects. I'm just going to go into our email now, homelearning at planb.com, and just see if we've got any uh, work that you have emailed in today that we can share during today's live session. As I said, homelearning at planb.com is the email address. Please do send in some information, uh, send in, sorry, uh, photos of yourself working or your writing. It'd be lovely today if we could actually read some people's writing. Look at this. This looks like the Salvation Army here and police officers. Look at the children marching along next to the police. Honey cakes. Somebody on the chat is saying that they tried making honey cakes. Was that a wartime recipe as well? Interesting. You're really happy today, that's wonderful. I wonder if you're doing anything to celebrate VE Day uh, while you're at home. I'd love to know what you're doing. 
please do share it with me if you if you have some plans, some things that you're going to do. So while this footage is playing, just a reminder, we're going to take a look in a couple more minutes, hopefully, at some, some fantastic V-Day diary entry writing. Um, and as I said, enroll via the link below for our home learning sessions coming up in the future. And parents, please do uh, stick with us when we're doing these. Uh, because it's YouTube, we do ask that they are supervised sessions um, because, of course, YouTube is actually a platform for account holders who are over the age of 14. We love it that people can join in with the live chat um, using uh, perhaps an older sibling or a parent's YouTube account. But because of that, we want to keep this a safe, friendly environment. So please do supervise during these sessions. Honey cakes. Yes, talking about honey cakes, a wartime recipe. In honey cakes, you don't use an egg. Right, interesting, yeah. Because of course, eggs were rationed, weren't they? Yeah, eggs would have been scarce. Very difficult to make a cake without eggs, but there we go, honey cakes, you can do it. I wonder what they were like, were they nice? Hmm. Let's see, we have a couple more minutes of this. I just want to skip forward slightly so that we can see a little bit of the footage near the end because Oh, actually, no, we're coming up to it now. You'll see it wasn't just adults in these parades marching. There are children marching as well. And that's because of something called the war effort. And some of you might know what the war effort was. We talk about it when we're referring to the war at home. The war at home, so the things that everybody did, the war effort, and... Uh, Everyone was involved in the war effort, including children. So um, uh, children were encouraged to do certain things to keep themselves safe and to keep themselves busy and healthy and active, such as joining things like the, uh, the sea cadets and that kind of thing. So you can see them marching there and scouts and guides. Right then, let's have a look. I can see that we have some photos that have been sent in. Let's have a look. So, I'm just going to download these now. And then we'll have a look in a moment. Oh, it's so nice to see pictures of you working away at home. So, firstly, Holly and Leah, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us again. Holly and Leah here are working hard. So much for joining us. I can't wait to see your finished diary entries. I hope that you are doing some really lovely writing and that you've been inspired by what we've learned about the day to day. Thank you very much for sharing those. And Callie, welcome back. Callie, thank you again for joining us today. And this is extraordinary. We've got some beautiful diary entry writing by Callie here. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Let's see if I can zoom in and read a little bit. I'll try and make it big enough so that you can see at home as well. Here we go. Dear diary, I'm so happy that the war is over. Ooh, exclamation mark, very nice. I'm mostly happy because I got to be with my family without being, I think it says scared. I can't wait to stuff my belly at the street party. I'm so hungry. I can't quite read what the next bit is, but the, uh, the Prime Minister just told us it was over. When I heard this, I started dancing and started singing. My dad has been at war for six years. I have to go to the street party now. I will tell you about it after from Callie. Callie, that is superb. I love your diary entry. Absolutely brilliant. You've included so much detail there about events that happened, places, people, and you gave your opinion, didn't you? Which is one of the things that, that a good diary entry has is, is your opinion. Yeah, um, how you felt. 
That's absolutely brilliant. Very well done, Kelly. I love it. Let's have a look at another one. Oh, here we go. So, ah, thank you, Holly. Yes, I can see that you've finished. Ooh, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, Ebony. Hi, Ebony. Welcome. And thank you so much for joining me and for sharing. Yes, look at this. This is great. Thank you, Ebony. Here's your diary entry. Let's have a look together. V-Day. I can't wait to party. <laughs> Bonfires, food, cake, smoke, cheering, singing, dancing, drinking. Oh, I've got a really good sense of what it must have felt like to be there at these VE Day celebrations because of all the words you've used there. So many good words to describe what you could see, smell, hear, taste, and what you felt. Lovely. What else do we have? Oh, somebody has, I think this is Jack. Oh, you've sent in your template, so you've drawn your own one with some space for pictures. That's lovely. Thank you, Jack. Great idea, working on your own template. And this is Shiza. Shiza, welcome. Thank you so much, again, for joining me today. And I hope you've been enjoying this session. Here's Shiza, look at Shiza working away. You're working away in your kitchen today, aren't you? Lovely. And I can see you've already written some um, words to help you with your diary entry. That's great. Very well done. Thank you for sharing your picture. And let's have a look. I know that Holly has finished a diary entry now. Let's have a look at this. So we saw Holly starting to work. Oh, wow. And look at that. A union flag that she's made as well. Here we go. Let's read this together. Dear Diary, today was the best day ever. First, Winston Churchill gave two speeches on how happy he was that it was over. Then Princess Margaret, Princess Elizabeth, George VI and Queen Elizabeth I attended a brilliant street party full of excitement and loads of people. I felt overjoyed since this had been my first street party. We danced all day and had bonfires and feasted. And there's a picture of a cake and a union flag there. Brilliant. That's a lovely diary entry, Holly. Really, really good. So much detail in there. I'm transported to those VE Day celebrations. Thank you. Well. What superb writing we've had. And how nice as well to see you working away in those photos and to see uh, that lovely writing. Um, who is this? Asiya. Asiya, welcome back. Thank you for sending in yours. Oh, and this is really clever. Actually, well done. You've managed to type yours on the worksheet, haven't you? That's superb. Uh, let me just open that up now. And we'll take a quick look. Lovely, here we go. Hopefully you can all see this now. Dear Diary, yesterday I really enjoyed the party we had for VE Day. We had feasts, parties and much more. At the feast we had cake and some tea and then we all began dancing and singing. And then the Prime Minister came and gave a speech and then all the royal family came and started waving to us. It was so exciting. <laughs> That's lovely. Thank you so much for sharing that. And again, I get a real sense of how joyful you must have felt if you had been taking part in one of those VE Day celebrations. Superb. Thank you very much. Okay. Well. Wow, we've got so many more. Okay, we have a little bit of time left to look at one or two more of 
your superb diary entries. All of May. Welcome back. Thank you again for sharing your work. Let's have a quick look now. Here we go. This is all of May. Dear diary, me and my family were excited when our Prime Minister uh, gave two speeches and we were amazed when the two princesses were allowed to walk the streets. Sadly, we didn't see them. But here's a picture of the bonfire and look at the crowds of people. Lovely. Really nice. Thank you so much, all of May. Well done. You've remembered some really nice details of the events in London there and included them in your diary entry. That's lovely. And Ayanna, welcome back, Ayanna. Thank you again for joining us. Here is Ayanna. Ayanna's lovely writing. Here we go. Let's see if I can read this now. Thank you for sharing this. Oh, and you've got your union flag as well, celebrating VE Day. Lovely. Dear Diary, I'm so happy because the Prime Minister said we won World War II and we had a wonderful street party. We had lots of food and we're not poor anymore from Iana. Oh, lovely. Oh, and you've done a little picture as well of a street party happening. I love it. Thank you. Lovely writing, Iana. And... Leah, here we go. Leah, you finished your diary now, haven't you? We, remember we saw Leah starting her diary earlier? Let's have a look at the finished diary entry now. Just turn this around. My goodness, what a lot of writing we've got here. Okay, thank you, Leah. Here we go. Let's have a look. Dear Diary, today was the best day of my life. The streets were filled with people. It was the end of the war. I was amazed. Everyone was gathering and dancing. We also had a bonfire. Lots of people were bursting with joy, but some were still angry because their houses were destroyed. We had cupcakes, drinks and loads of fun. In the evening, we had uh, an even bigger party. I can't wait to party tomorrow too. There was a nice smell in the air. It was so good. You've included so many features of diary entries there. That's absolutely brilliant. Lovely to read that. Thank you. God, you really are getting these uh, features of diaries in here. Alex, welcome. Okay. Alex, welcome back. Thank you so much for sharing your diary. We have children of all ages joining us today to share their writing and to take part. Younger and older, all welcome as always, like I say. Alex, age six, so you must be one of our slightly younger people taking part today. Let's have a look. Look at this, VE Day, 1945. Today, I felt happy that the war is over. I went to a party with my family. I listened to the Queen and Prime Minister. Singing and dancing was fun. There were tables in the street and we shared food. It was so good. Today was the best day ever. Wow. Alex, fantastic. That's really lovely writing. I can't believe how much you've written in this time as well. So many details you remembered. Well done. Maisie, welcome back, Maisie. We're going to look at a couple more. We've got two or three minutes before we finish today. So let's have a look, Maisie. Maisie's joined us before, I believe. My goodness, and another big diary entry in your own journal here. Dear diary, today the war ended. Everyone was celebrating. When I woke up, out of the blue, everyone was clapping and celebrating. I could smell fires burning and hear everyone outside. All of these senses, smells and what you can hear. Um, everyone helped gather food and we had a very big feast. I was on cloud nine. An idiom. We've got an idiom. Cloud nine. There was cake, bunting, smoke, 
I was amazed and relieved that I could see some of my family soon. Lots of my family had been in the war. Then we gathered up around Winston Churchill and the Prime Minister made a speech. It was amazing. I couldn't believe the Germans surrendered. I'm going to call it a day and hit the sack. <laughs> I really love your idioms in that. That's really nice. Thank you. Thanks, Maisie. And Evie, welcome back. Evie and Maisie are sisters, twin sisters. Here we go, Evie. Look at this, you've been working in your own notebook as well, lovely. Dear diary, today was the happiest day of my life. World War II has finally stopped. Everyone was celebrating on the streets, scoffing up their food. Oh, nice. There were bonfires. I was on cloud nine. Well done, you two, working together on those idioms. There were waves of people at Buckingham Palace. Winston Churchill made a speech. There were parades and we danced. There was smoke and it was just amazing. I'm going to call it a day and hit the sack. I really like your idioms there, hit the sack and um, cloud nine. Lovely. Well done on working together, you two there. Really nice. And let's have a look. I think this might be this might be Jack. Jack, welcome, and thank you so much for sharing your writing. You too have done this on paper or your own notebook, haven't you? Let's have a quick look. Lovely. I'm really pleased that you were able to share your diary entry with us. Dear Diary, I am so joyful World War II has finally ended. They called it VE Day. Uh, I was surprised when the Prime Minister announced it was over. There were tables on the streets, we were eating food, there was dancing. All kinds of stuff. All types of stuff. Thank you, Jack. Good work. Some great details in there that we saw from those celebrations. Thank you for sharing your writing. Well, it's time for us to finish today's session. I've loved seeing your superb diary entries today, everybody. You remembered so much information and brought so much detail to them about what it must have been like to experience those VE Day celebrations. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody, and for sharing your lovely writing. I hope to see some of you on a future live learning session here on our YouTube channel. Please do subscribe to make sure you get alerts as upcoming sessions happen. We've already got some booked in for next week. Also, please do um, follow us and share your experiences and pictures of what you were doing on Instagram if you would like to. We're there on Plan B at Plan B Teaching um, and we'd love to see what you share on there too, parents. So. Whatever you do tomorrow for VE Day, I hope you have a wonderful, safe and enjoyable weekend at home and um, happy VE Day everybody. Thank you. Thank you to Abby again for joining me on the chat and I hope to see you all again soon. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye bye.